His stomach behaving once more, Thancred is ready to get to work. Right, let us split up and make inquiries in town. Naryu, the peer is yours. Once we have learned what we can, we can regroup by the Aetherite. Off-putting though the mere sight of it may be. Aw, you'll be okay, buddy. The crate is laden with fruits, but they are on the verge of spoiling, as if they've been left too long. Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles, with the silhouettes of larger seafaring vessels farther away. Compared to other ports you have visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. What am I doing? Oh, recording my sales. Still do it daily out of habit, though I don't know why I bother. Hardly sell anything these days. Business has never been this terrible, but I suppose things could be even worse. I could have a consortium to keep afloat, like... calls all. I don't envy his position. Better to be alone with my little operation, I've come to realize. You're a traveler by the looks of you. If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Kalzal a visit. He'd be glad for tidings from abroad. Like as not, you'll find him at Saltwind Sales, the harbor guild building across the water from here. Well now, if it isn't a traveler, you're a rare sight in these unsettled times. People have been giving us a wide berth since that accursed tower suddenly appeared on Narinair. If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion. But no, it had to spawn fell fiends as well. We still have our lives, thanks to the Radiant Host, but business is, is as good as dead. What'll become of us, the gods only know. Hmm... The Dalmascans aren't coming, but we already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. The Empire is at war with itself, and the provinces are in chaos. And then there's the tower sitting on our doorstep, spitting out monstrosities. The, city's has, the city has its defenses, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. But this will be an enormous loss. All right, all right, forget about the Dalmascans. Surely some ships, surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicra handicrafts, medicines, all the perennial Hanish favorites. Our consortium works closely with the merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. That's not what the crate of fruit outside said. I know all these things, calls all I do, which is why I regret to say I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. And you are? Wait, you're a foreigner, are you not? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. No. Sorry. I see. That's a shame. I'm sorry, but we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk, it o talk to one of the others. Um, excuse me. My name is Matsya, and I'm here to see Kalzal. Oh, it seems he's busy. I'll come back later then. Okay. <laughs> yes, can I help you? Ah, I remember seeing you back in the guild. You wanted to speak with Kalzal too, didn't you? I'm Matsya, a fisherman of Akyali, a nearby village. I sell my catch to Kalzal, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard that the consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come and see him. Just as soon as he's free, anyway. He's a hard-working man, and I dare not disturb him. Um, if I may ask, what is it that you do? An adventurer, you say, and you travel the world helping people? Then that must mean you're great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? 
You see, I brought some fresh fish with me, the portion I couldn't preserve, and I want to sell them. The problem is I'm terrible with people. I've only ever dealt with Kelzal, and I can't talk to customers without getting my trunk in a twist. So please, as silly as it might sound, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? I mean, I guess? If you're willing, please let me know and we can begin at once. The events to follow cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. You'll do it then? Show me how to deal with customers? I'm in your debt. Right, please try peddling my fish to, shall we say, three people here and yelled Yedlamod. I will observe you and learn. Hmm, yes? Greetings, friend. How fair are you of late? Greetings to you, too. <sighs> I suppose I'm well enough, given the circumstance. Things have settled down somewhat, but it was utter chaos when that tower first appeared. Everyone grabbing what they could, trampling over each other to get to the city. Many remain in there for now, but I could not stay away. Had to come back, continue with my life, such as it is. Whether or not it was the right choice, only time will tell. There's no place like home, but don't do anything dangerous, eh? Oh, trust me, I don't. I make sure to keep well clear of the tower, and when more monsters emerge from it, I heed the Radiant Host's instructions. I hope they deal with it soon so we can get back to our normal lives, to the days when you could earn as much as you gave and tuck into a meal satisfied that you did good work. Speaking of meals, why not have some fresh fish today? Hmm, fresh fish, you say? Oh, you're a fishmonger. Heh, <laughs> when you bait me like that, how can I not bite? Very well, give me some of your fish. To thank you for your custom, the catch of the day is Shallow's Cod. Delectable stewed in coconut milk or baked with a sprinkle of salt. Yay, we did it. All we had to do was talk to them. What do you think so far? That you should make a sale on the first attempt. I've learned a lot already, and I hope to learn more still. Just stick with me, chum. A hawker, are you? Do you sell fruit by chance? If so, I want to buy some Amra. Some Amra. Let's say a dozen. They don't need to be export quality. What do you need so many Amra for? Why, for eating, of course. It may seem like a lot, but of late I go through that much in no time at all. I'm a stock taker by trade, but with no vessels coming in these days, the wares are beginning to pile up. By the same token, nothing is coming in from overseas. But not a day goes by that someone doesn't come asking when the next shipment is arriving for this and that and this and that. All of it wears me down, and I find myself feeling constantly hungry. Oh, I know how you feel. Thank you. A pity you don't sell fruit, but I enjoyed our little chat. It took my mind off troubles for a moment. Oh. Sorry. If nothing else, you left her with a positive impression. Let's move on to the north side of town. I didn't realize that was like the end of the conversation. What is it? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh god, it's my stomach. Oh. Aether sickness? No, no, nothing so unusual. In my hurry to get back to work, I just ate a little too quickly. You should take it easier, eat more slowly, and savor your food. No? With that, I would that I could, but I can't afford to be idle. Like as not, circumstances will surely get worse before they get better. And so I'm working as hard as I can while well, I still can. The better be prepared. How do you intend to prepare? By stockpiling supplies. For that, I need to earn coins so I can buy food, medicine, what have you. How about some fish for your supplies? They're fresh caught. 
I, well, fish wouldn't be bad, but I don't want to go through the hassle of preserving them myself. I'd rather buy stuff that's, all that's ready to store. So I'm afraid I'll have to patch on your fish. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be getting back to work. Well, I thought I was very confident when we started this and we did manage to build something of a relationship, I guess. Thank you so much for your demonstration. It was truly eye-opening experience. Come, let us return to the pier. We fucked up, guys. We fucked up. Everything's fine. Thank you so much for showing me how to talk to customers. You managed to sell to one of the three people you approached. It was difficult, but when you put your mind to it, you succeeded. Though you did fail too, but there are lessons to be learned in both success and failure. By applying yours, I'll endeavor to become a better peddler. Still, there's only so much I can do alone. I hope that things will return to normal for Kalzal soon. I thought I heard a familiar voice, and who should it be but Matsya? Kalzal, have you finished your business at the guild? So you were there too. Forgive me, try as I might, I can't find any buyers. With no ships coming in and hardly any going out, there simply aren't any options at this rate. So you can't buy my fish anymore? It's sad. I'm sorry, Matsya, I truly am. But for now, you must peddle your own goods. But by myself, I can't. Oof. I want to help you. Oh. I, I clicked. I shouldn't have clicked. No, stop! I want to help you, I do, but as it stands, I can barely help myself. I've poured, all, poured my all into the consortium, and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. I have friends and families depending on me, and I can't, I won't fail them. The sisters as my witness. Calls all. Not to worry. Using what I've learned from you, I'm sure I'll manage... somehow. Well, I had best return to my village. My thanks again, and please take care on the road. You're welcome. I feel bad. Sad days. Bankred. I see you've been busy. Managed to learn a tidbit or two, I trust? I guess some things I see we also heard the towers that the tower is affecting many locals livelihoods but to think it would be su to such an extent for another notable if not wholly unexpected discovery disappearances and kidnappings are disturbingly commonplace as before the culprits are almost certainly tempered imperial soldiers and as before they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call forth a lunar primal business as usual for the tel Telephori. Judging by his furrowed brow, something important has occurred to Astinian. That Matsya fellow you were helping, he's Arkasodara, is he not? Apparently, it is almost exclusively his people that are being kidnapped. Should he be traveling alone? If summoning is the perpetrator's aim, it doth stand to reason that Arkasodara would be their primary targets. For it is the faith of their ancestors which prevaileth in this land, and many are devout adherents still. We better go after him. Akiali lies to the west, as I recall. The same direction as Kryal's acquaintance, incidentally. It's settled, then. Keep your eyes peeled while we make for the village. You got it. Huh? Where did they go? Why are you here? Mm. Okay. Mm. You and your friends came to look for me? I don't know how to thank you. On my way home, I took a moment to stop and rest. Think about what to do about, well, everything. 
And then those men came. Don't make a joke, don't make a joke. Kidnappers, we heard that the Arca Sadara were being targeted. Surely you have as well. Perhaps it's best if you took refuge in the city. We've considered it, me and the others, but fishing is all we know. Why is... no wonder this is such a high volume. The ocean, all we have. I see. That's your decision to make, but you should take... no, not you, Siri. But you should take care not to travel alone. A question, if I may. Tis our understanding that strange fiends have emerged from the tower. What canst thou tell us of these beings? Oh no, all the cheese came out of this one. Not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. But I've heard some bear an unsettling resemblance to our divinities. For that reason, some have taken to calling the tower Zot. House of divinities in the old tongue, it means. But they're not true divinities. They're monstrous imitations that bring only death. To have one's faith so twisted is a grievous indignity, and full justified art thou in thine outrage. Know that tis no for no other purpose but to neutralize the tower that we have journeyed to this land. In time we may be forced to contend with these false gods, and thus we would learn all we may about them. Wilt thou not tell us of thy divini di the mm. Wilt thou not tell us of thy divinities and their true name? You've come all this way to save us? Really? To think I had you peddling fish. To think. But to answer your question, yes, of course. We would gladly tell you about our, our gods. We, I say, because I'm a terrible t storyteller, and I'd ask my fellow vill villagers to do it. So please come to our village. We're good, gods fearing folk, all of us, and we'd be honored to share our knowledge and fish. What sayest thou? Shall we pay a village uh, a visit to Akiali? Obviously. What option do we have here? Wonderful. Just follow the old, ro old road west and down the hill. You can't miss it. Okay. I shall. So, tis the simulcra of the Narian gods that are being summoned. If any doubt existed before, there can be none now. The kidnapped Hanish are imprisoned in the tower. I pray that we will be able to save them. Though indeed saving them will mean confronting their false gods, like as not. I, as you said, we'll, we'd do well to study their religious tr traditions. To Akiali. Nope. Welcome to Akiali, my friend. The name means White Beach, and there isn't much to here to say here save that, but please make yourself at home. Your companions have already begun talking to everyone. Feel free to show yourself around and do the same. Any one of us can tell you about our gods, but you could do worse than to start with Kanga and old Hasve Hasveda. They're free at the moment, as it happens. Okay. Hmm, you wish to know about our gods? What a curious visitor you are. Most want fish. In any case, I'm happy to oblige. Now, I don't know how it is once you hail, but our isle is home to many gods. They can be divided into two groups, the menu the men the Menusia, beings of wisdom who assume the form of men, and the Murga, beings of might who assume the form of beasts. Together they are divinities, their forms and personalities many and varied. Some are kind and gentle, others stern and temperamental, just like we mortals can be. All are, all are possessed of great insight and experience, and by heeding their teachings, we strive to be better people and live better lives. Okay. That didn't tell me that much, to be honest. <laughs> Interested in learning about our gods, you say? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Prick up your ears, then, and listen. In ancient times, the Manusia and the Murga deities who look like men and beasts respectively- shit. Respectively, were locked in conflict. Eventually, seeking the wisdom of the Manusia, the Murga cast aside their own heads and turned, took upon those of their foes. Likewise, the Manusia coveted the might of the Murga, and so they too resolved to trade heads. 
Thus were born new gods possessed of both might and wisdom, and they ushered in an age of harmony between the two factions. From then on, as a sign of their esteem for one another, the Minusia... Ash, I can't see what I'm reading if you're in front of me. Have worn animal faces, and the Murga, the limbs of men. Okay. There you are. Learned a thing or two about our gods, I trust. I mean, we learned that they traded parts of themselves. I don't know. While you were off talking to the others, I remembered something that may be of interest. If you could let your friends know, I'll go and fetch it from my home at once. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's coffee? I'm not saying it. Apologies for the wait. I wish to show- Ash, I can't see. <laughs> I wish to show you this hanging scroll which depicts three of our most revered deities. By all means, we should like to see it. I'll refund it, don't worry. Oh, I see. They are Minusia. You heard about them already, yes? Three sisters. The center one is the eldest, Sindaruva, a goddess of wisdom. For this, alchemists hold her in the highest. To her right is the middle sister, Sindaruva. As a goddess of wealth, she counts many traitors among her followers. And on the left is Mindaruva, the youngest sibling. She presides over the crafts and so is beloved by weavers. Although each is worshipped for different reasons, the sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which people keep in their homes for good fortune. In like fashion to the Minusia, the deities of Eorzea preside over myriad aspects of life, and what of the Murga, if I may ask? The Murga hold power over nature, and ages past they were revered as guardian deities in times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit, all, visit our temples and ruins, you'll find their images there. Among them is a god who possesses a gaja's head, and he is venerated as the pro progenitor of the Arca Sidara. And then there are dragons. They occupy a special place in our history. You worship dragons too? It's said that an ancestor of the Satrap, that's the ruler of the Radzat Han, forged a covenant with a dragon divinity in ancient times. This divinity has since acted as the guardian deity of the satrap. Legend holds that if ever the satrap is in need, his dragon ally will fly to his aid. Dragon ally. You claim to be a terrible storyteller, but nothing could be further from the truth. The passion you bear for your faith is plain to hear. I am confident that the information you've given us will serve us well in our efforts to deal with the tower. That is very kind of you to say. Thank you. I will pray for your success. I like him. Right. I believe it's time we sought out Kryl's acquaintance. An alchemist by the name of Nidhana. According to Kryl's notes, we're to find her at a place called the Great Work, further north along the coast. Matsuya has a shine in his eyes that wasn't there before. Did, did you say you're going to see Nidhana? Oh, how I envy you. She's brilliant and beautiful, kind and understanding. And did I say she's beautiful? I could stare at her dainty ears and adorable trunk all day. And those eyes. When you meet her, take care you don't drown in them. Oh, so cute. Look at your little crush. Um, I don't think this is what we were going for. What happened here? Sorry for talking with food in my mouth. What happened here? That's what I said. I knew he got me. Their dress marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. 
thinkest thou they but slumber? Mm. I believe so. Is that a Red Bull? Well, it, it is. is it's a pomegranate it's Red Bull. Entirely. Then why are you whining? <laughs> they overcooked my mozzarella sticks and all the cheese is coming out. This is so upsetting. Now it's breaking. Have you had the pomegranate? It might be my favorite. I hope it's not only around for winter. The poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you I don't can drink see. energy drinks anymore, but I love Red Bulls. I see. Oh. I'm like, this is such a mess. I am Vashan, servant to the Satrap. My task was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. Sure. Why would we not allow? People of the great work, I come bearing new scales. <laughs> I don't mind the blueberry, Scales? but the pomegranate, I think, is new and it's really good. We got I a whole case of it. Well, Sam got a whole case of it and Sam is never here, so I just keep drinking it. Yes, my friends, gather around. What? I have them right here. I don't understand. What are y'all doing with this? Now I can continue my experiment. Many thanks. One for me. Those are dragon scales. Yeah. Yes, such materials are vital to their most pressing research. But how are you but getting we them? We are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. Hmm. Did, did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? <laughs> You're the one Kryl sent. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. Hmm. Oh, this is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova. The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. At least someone's happy to see us. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. Tell me, how did you acquire those scales? Curious that it concerns you so. Is it curious? He's a dragoon. But worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has <laughs> forged a lawful pact. Freely given? I feel like that would hurt. That is well. You must be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? How are you so fast, man? <laughs> is this their congealed blood I see on your weapon? Hmm. Uh. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it. Poor Astinian. I Look should at like to face. draw a file or two of so. Now, see here. Oh my god. Come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. Cease your shoving, or so help me. 
<laughs> I will thank you for the biddies. What with the new scales and your timely arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. No harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile, shall we find a quiet place to talk? Sure, are you the one in whose eyes I'm supposed to get lost in? As you may have your guessed, home and relaxing. Midana, That's good. How was your work day overall? Your mistress cryo. We have workshops across the nation collaborating on this research project. But it is here at the great work where I collate our results. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. Okay. 